Welcome to High Biz News. This is Kangsha Ganga Aparam, and you're watching National Business News. The Indian Super League U table toppers Hyderabad FC registered yet another commanding victory as they beat Odisha FC 1 is to 0 in a hard-fought contest at the DMC Balayogi Athletic Stadium on a noisy Saturday night at Gachiboli. Mohammad Yasir scored the only goal of the game in the 8th minute as he added in a Harinachal Nazari cross to win Hyderabad all three points from this crunchy tie. With this win, Manolo Marquez men take a lead at the top of the league table as they now have 13 points from their first five games. Manolo Marquez decided to hand Borja Hirara his first ISL start replacing Ogbichi and right from the first whistle, it was the men in yellow and black that started to create the changes. Nazri and Borja teamed up with the left flank as the number 19 turned his man and put in a delicious across that Odisha failed to defend. Yasir did well to find a corner and Amrinder was beaten just 8 minutes into the game. Nakul Shyam and Kumar Gopal Siddhartha, team of St. Thomas Residential School Tiruvananthapuram, secured the first position in the Kerala South Zone OISCA Milma Green Quest 2022. The team comprising Devika G. Omanan Kutta and Surya Kiran SL of NSS. HSS Chora Kode, Patanamitta bagged the second position. Fatima S and Nikita AR duo of DHSS Kochikal Kolam came third at the competition held at St. Thomas Residential School, Mukkala Kolal. The teams that emerged first and second place in the zonal competitions qualify for the grand finale to be held in Palakand on November 19th. Deputy Mayor Tiruvananthapuram Sri P. K. Raju gave away the prizes to the winners of the quest competition jointly conducted by the Japan-based environmental organization OISCA, International and Kerala Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation KCMMF known by its name brand name Milma. For the strengthening Kerala startup ecosystem, the state government has launched a scheme to reimburse the experience incurred by the nascent venture to procure technology licenses from government research institutions in the country to commercialize and scale up their products. Under the Technology Transfer Scheme project implemented through Kerala Startup Mission Kusum, the government will reimburse up to Rs 10 lakh to start up purchasing or sourcing technology from government research institutions and working on them to develop products that could be commercialized. Kusum has invited applications from eligible startups to avail the benefits offered by the scheme. This scheme will help startups in the state gain greater access to the know-how required for turning their ideas into marketable products. This is an advantageous scheme that will encourage our startups to innovate their ideas without bothering about the cost involved, said Kusum CEO Sri Anup Ambika. <laughs> Holding that Kerala has the best startup ecosystem in Asia, Minister for Law, Industries and Coir, Sri P. Rajiv said startup coming to the country with their products will find the state as the most conclusive place to enter straight way and flourishing. Kerala felicitates hazel free entries for startups, which is underscored by the significant presence of big global IT companies, the minister said during the launch of the first outlet of the Ventigo, a virtual food court promoted by the Versicles Technologies here last evening. Sri Rajiv said an interaction with Indian Electronics and Semiconductor Association IESA at the recent Defence Expo revealed that Kerala is the only place where companies can come with their products straight away whereas a formal submission of brochures and posters initially is required in the other states. Ventigo is a pioneering micro-commerce platform that allows customers to order their food choice from multiple restaurants in a single order and have it delivered to a Kisok pickup location or at their door. Step. Medica Oncology Department of Medica Super Speciality Hospital organized a walkathon in the city on Sunday from 9 a.m. onwards for creating awareness of cancer disease. Approximately 500 people from all walks in life, including students, cancer survivors, NGOs, family members, Hospital staff of Medica, among others, joined the rally at Kishore Bharati Stadium Gate No. 6 and then proceeded to walk all through Ajaynagar Highland Park and Singabari bus stand reached Medica Super Speciality Hospital. This year, national awareness, repeat, this year, national cancer awareness theme at Medica Oncology is palliative care. 
As a result, the organization Oncology Division announced that it will not only start offering radiotherapy as a form of treatment in November, but it will also establish a faculty that will offer cancer patient organized home-based palliative care services for the first time in the Eastern India. The Oncology Department of Medica Super Speciality Hospital held a panel discussion at the Science City Auditorium marking the occasion of National Cancer Awareness Day. The Oncology Department of Medica announced the launch of home-based palliative cancer care services to cancer patients and became the first faculty in Eastern India to offer such services. The launch program and the panel discussion on the palliative care was attended by the several specialty oncologists from Medica including Dr. Saurav Datta, Director of Medica Cancer Projects, Dr. Sudeep Das, Consultant Oncologist, Dr. Sayan Das, Head Radiation Oncologist and Ms. Arunima Datta, a clinical physiologist. In addition to the medical experts, Mr. Anup Mukherjee, representative of Fight Cancer NGO, Mr. Neelendru Saha from Kudirimam Pattanagar Bahrampur NGO, Mr. Sadiq Hussain, writer and the real-life hero who have fought cancer and their families who had emerged victories over the challenges, defied all obstacles, including social pressure and economic advertising, and still have not called it quiet, we are also a part of the panel discussion they had it. <music> Sai International Education Group, one of the leading educational institutions of Indian, hosted the fourth chapter of Sai Thought Leadership, a series of discussion sessions with a focus on the development of the nation. Dr. Hurshi K. Senapati, former director NCERT, graced the occasion as the esteemed speaker along with Dr. Shilpi Saho, chairperson Sai International Education Group. The topic of discussion for the session was learning technology and future education in the 21st century, which focused on the emphasis on the 21st century learning and NEP 2020. The brainchild of late Dr. Bijaya Kumar Saho, founder chairman Sai International Education Group, Sai Thoughtful Leadership is a virtual learning platform where luminaries, each leaders of the pioneers and trendsetters in their field engaged in the deliberation on a pelotra of, repeat, of relevant issues and subjects with a focus on the holistic development of the individuals and the nation. <music> The Federation of Automobiles Dealers Association, FADA, released vehicle retail data for October 22 and 42 days festive period. Commenting on how October 22 and the festive period performed, FADA President Mr. Manish Raj Singhania said, Auto retail for the month of October 22 saw an overall growth of 48%. With the most of the month under the festive period, the sentiments were extremely positive across the categories of dealership outlets. Even when compared to the pre-COVID months of 2019, overall retails for the first time closed in green by growing 8%. Except for the 3W which saw a marginal dip for the minus 0.6%, all the other categories like 2W, PV, tractors and CV grew by 6%, 18%, 47% and 13% respectively. Festive 22 brings tears to the auto industry as for the first time customers of every category came out in good number and took part in the festive purchases, thus making it the best in the last four years. As anticipated earlier, the PV segment saw the best year in the decade by outgrowing of 2020 numbers by 2%. When compared to the pre-COVID festive of 2019, overall retails were up by 6%. All the categories were in green with 2W, 3W, CV, PV and track grown by 2%, 2%, 14%, 18% and 55% respectively. Thank you for watching. Signing off. Keep watching Hybiz News.